National Economic uh, Council recommended that state governors allocate 15% of their budgets to education and declared state of emergency in the, in the sector. That is good, though. So all the children that uh, write on their laps will be upgraded to laptops. <laughs> or last, last, maybe the meals in the feeding program will upgrade from beans and gari to chips and shawarma. <laughs> Uh, this development is welcome and long overdue. In fact, <laughs> uh, you see, I'm the uh, special teaching correspondent, and I'm here to liberate you from the ignorance of this matter. <laughs> what is the meaning of it? Okay, it's okay. SLK has taken over the segment. <laughs> Good day, class. <laughs> you see, um, the state of emergency. And um, the recommendation by NEC has been lauded by the uh, National Union of Teachers, uh, meaning um, they seem to believe that NEC's recommendation is uh, 10 over 10, 10 over 10. <laughs> uh, but uh, some other stakeholders apparently think otherwise. Having a percentage of budget allocation to education means the voting money that leans on nothing. Ah, 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 ah. Professor Ejiogu. <laughs> so, so you are trying to say that the next effort lean on nothing. Are you sure you are not a pain in the neck? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so, so while NUT and neck, while they are singing 10 over 10, 10 over 10, Professor Ejiogu was singing, Shikena, Shikena, Shikena. <laughs> well, a 2006 um, se sector report. Uh, shows that uh, Nigerian educational system is a lot like my own personal education. Uh, the more money put in, the poorer the results. <laughs> I hope my father is not watching. Uh, anyways, since these uh, results, uh, since the money is not enough, uh, apparently money is not the answer, the government needs to derive an almighty formula that we tackle the, 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 the problems in the equational, I mean, the educational sector. <laughs> An almighty formula, because even the almighty wonders why kids are studying history under history. <laughs> Things our results seem to lean back like Fat Joe. <laughs> and the money, anytime the money seems to enter the place like Two Face. That's why we need to start looking for the formula like Ricardo Banks. <laughs> and find out that we have a rotten, disorganized, inefficient, confused educational system. It isn't something that 15% or 20% will, will solve. Wait, come to think of it, could it be that our educational system is rotten because we keep providing it with old and expired syllabus? Like, do we need like a NAFDAQ for the syllabus? You know, something to check the expiry date or something, you know? <laughs> if we keep feeding this our children with uh, old and spoiled <laughs> syllables, <laughs> don't be surprised when we keep seeing people like Mr. Bang Dada <laughs> Are we trying to prepare our kids, our words, to understand the concepts and ideas? Or are we just teaching them to cram, like I'm doing right now? Wait. What's my next point? <laughs> Assignment. <laughs> Assignment number one, yes. The government needs to replace the old syllabus with brand new ones, you know? New ones that we can, we can teach our kids, fresh ones that we can harvest. Number two, to build a better future and also to cement the future of the kids, I think uh, the government needs to create a concrete plan for the allocation of this 15%. Uh, amongst the primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions. Then finally, number three, the government needs to create a measuring system for accountability of this allocation. Uh, you know, the constant K is corruption. <laughs> so, <laughs> government needs to submit this assignment as soon as possible because it forms the continuous assessment uh, for the government. You know, our government, they like school, and that's why they are coming for second term. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, SLK. That's very informative. Uh, but for your information, the only constant K on this show is the K in OK.
<laughs> That's what you know. But but there's also K in uh, SLK. Uh, okay, please, uh, please. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please, a round of applause. A round of applause for SLK. Yes.